Hello, I am Smriti. I am a special educator and a psychologist. I am making this video to discuss about mental health issues faced by parents of special need children. I am also a parent of a special need child. So I can understand the importance of uh, taking care of mental health issues faced by parents of special need children. Yes, our children have some special needs. So, as a primary caretaker, we have to address that special needs. For that, we may need lots of energy, lots of patience. And, of course, our days are filled with back-to-back -back therapies, back-to-back -back activities. And so, it's not easy for us to keep... Um, ourselves happy and most of us will go through depression in different stages of our life. So today I would like to share some tips to handle mental health issues. Uh, let us start from diagnosis. After the diagnosis, all we all of us, it is difficult for us to accept the condition um, and uh, it is, most of the time, we all will feel depressed at that stage itself. Uh, it may be different conditions. It may be autism or cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, or the condition may be anything. First of all, we all will face difficulty to accept that. And most of the parents and families will start thinking about why it happened to us. Well, that is the first thought coming to most of the parents and families, especially in India. Is it really matters if you are able to find the answer for why it happened to us? That is going to make any difference. So instead of that, what you have to think after the diagnosis? What we can do next? So my child got a diagnosis with some special needs so how can i address the special needs how i can understand about that special needs that should be the thought so instead of wasting your time to think about why it happened we should think about what we should do next uh, our quality of thoughts that is very very important don't waste your time to think about something that is not meaningful in the future. So, live in the present. So, you should focus into what you can do today so that you will get a better tomorrow. But what happened yesterday is something that already happened. So, don't waste your energy and time for that and focus into what you can do today. So, you have to understand the condition of your child. You have to empower yourself. You should be a part of the training programs. You should find the best training program for your child. And you should start working according to their guidance. And in that process, you need a support system. So how to create a support system? You should educate people in your home with your partner, with your family members, you, you must be thinking, most of the time, you must be thinking that they all are seeing what I am doing, how much I am running, but they are not offering any help. Sometimes people may not be able to understand what you are going through. So you have to communicate with them. You have to explain about your difficulties and you have to ask your help, their help. Then they can help you. If they are not ready to help you, then find another people who can help you. So don't try to take all the responsibility by yourself. It will be very, very difficult for you. So you should share responsibilities with your partner and with your other family members. And if you have to appoint some caretakers or a maid, someone in the home environment, so that will help you to create a better program for your child. 
you should give first priority to your child and you should try to do your best for your child so that at the end of the day you will feel happy about it that uh, you can uh, feel that yes i did bet i did my best today and that gives you the happiness so accept your child's condition understand about it and move forward with the right support system that is very very important and while creating the support system you should create the support system with people who can understand you who can listen to you without judging you uh, so uh, if you are in a toxic relationship and always they are blaming yourself or always you are ba- blaming you or always they are pointing out to uh, the they, they are pointing into the difficult difficult part and where the child struggles then keep a distance from that type of people because we should focus into the strength of the child instead of focusing into the difficulties of the child all our children have their own strengths and their own difficulties our focus should be f- uh, their strength because then only you can find happiness in your life you should learn to celebrate all small small achievements all small small milestones of your child your focus should be the happy moments not the difficult moments yes we all will go through the difficult difficulties it's not easy to move forward some days are very hard and some days are very good so our focus should be the good days the great moments the happy moments that we got and yes this part also disturbs us the difficulties disturbs us but don't keep it in your mind and don't talk a lot about the difficulties don't discuss about you have to learn from that difficult situation and you have to mm-hmm. put the points important that are important to face this difficulties in your next plan so when you are planning a future for your child how you are going to take care of this difficulties that is important but don't give focus only into the difficult part you should learn to celebrate your life with the happy moments that you are getting in this life and uh, we all will go through a uh, difficult situation and some days are we will feel very low and we will think that we need a break it's quite natural it's not weakness we all will go through this okay when we are low and when we need a break take breaks take plan vacations with your family or if you need a break for yourself take a break for yourself take that will help you to get more energy and so that you can spread that happiness to your child also so keeping yourself happy is very important so when you need a break don't hesitate to take the break you should take the break and you should come back to the process that will really help you to move forward so and if you feel to cry cry that it, that will help you to uh, relax so it's not uh, uh, it's not bad or it's not weakness that if someone is crying that is very very important for themselves to take it out if you can get relief by discussing it with your friend or with your partner or with your family member you can do that if someone is there to listen to you without judging that means a lot so that also you should do uh, as a primary caretaker one important thing what we have to understand is everything starts from us acceptance starts from us so if we are able to accept the child the way how they are we can spread that energy to others and then other family members and society everyone will be able to accept our children the way how they are so it should start from you so if you are unable to do that if you are still struggling with anxiety and depression you please take care of yourself first 
you can't take care of your child at that time you take care of yourself you take the medical help from a psychiatrist or a psychologist and you should go through the counsel counseling sessions or medications what they are suggesting because if you are not taking care of yourself and if you are trying to help your child it is not going to help and it may create more anxiety issues in your children because you are going through the anxiety issues and you will spread that anxiety issues to your child so first work on yourself you should be happy then your child will be happy and the home home environment will be happy so everything starts from you so now let us see how we can uh keep ourselves happy so we should focus into what we love to do we should continue that if you would like to continue your career you continue your career by taking some adjustment in the time and when the child is in school you can work and when the child is at home you can give your 100% to the child so like this you should learn to balance you should organize your day meaningfully in this journey i met some parents who have difficulty in organizing their own things they are really struggling with their children and they are always complaining about their that they are not able to take care of their children they are always i can see that complaining things coming when parents are not organized themselves so you should learn to organize your schedule first then only you should be able to take care of the children's needs and the other family members needs so first you should learn organizations organizing skills is something that is very very important so you should work on that you should learn to organize things properly that is very important and you should find time for yourself at least one or two hours in a day so that you will be happy in your mind and that happiness you can spread into the child a happy environment is very very important when you are doing uh, any training programs without a happy environment it is very difficult to get a happy child and a happy child only will be ready to learn so i think in this video i was able to share uh, the important points important tips to keep ourselves happy peaceful so that we can plan a better future for our children and we can live a happy peaceful life we can lead a happy peaceful life with our family of course uh, we should find happy moments we should focus the happy moments that we are getting in our daily life always celebrate all small small achievements with your family and accept your child the way how they are and don't try to change other people the change should start from you so that everyone will join with you in this journey so i hope this video will be helpful for you all i would like to uh, hear from you all please write your suggestions and comments thank you